Okay, since uh, the last segment, what we've done is we took the top that we had glued up and laid it on the, the base. It's glued and screwed along the forward bulkhead in the notch at the top of the stem and then at the transom with those curves we got our glue on there started screwing at the middle after we lined it up the centers and using a clamp to pull down this way and pull this in this way because it curves this way too we would pull them together and do one side and then the other so it pulled it equally and just worked our way out. Left the clamps on for several days to give the plywood time to uh, get used to the curve before we released it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a piece and hold it along the sides and see where our stringers flare out in areas and the angles don't match. We're going to flatten that so when we put the sides on it makes good contact both on the top and the bottom. And we're going to start building the mast box. In here, right behind the forward bulkhead, there's going to be a box built that will hold a sleeve, a three inch PVC sleeve that's going to go over the base, or that the base of the mast will rust in. Okay, so today's May 3rd, we're back at it. I believe in the last segment we showed you how we were trimming the sides of the top deck and the bottom deck to get them flush with each other so when we wrap it with the plywood for the sides we'll get a nice fit. Now the way we're doing that is we're taking a stick laying it across to make sure that on both the top and the bottom the angle is such that we'll get a good glue joint. Now if you, you can see down here at the bottom Oh, it's not real tight. No, actually, I just wasn't holding the stick well. Right. But it's a little bit more open at the top. That's not a big deal. That's pretty close. So we're not going to worry about it. But we've been going through and making sure all those are true. Getting the corners nice and flush with, with the transom. Next where this line is, that's going to be the front of another stringer we're going to put in that will lay right in here. It'll come out at an angle like that and give us a spot to screw the front of our side panel on when that comes in there. We've also been working on... Okay, so we've got the mass box in place. The next thing we need to do is put a little bracer on the bottom. So we made up this little U-bracket, slid it into place, and we just need to trace around it just so we know where to put our glue. This urethane glue does not come off the hands. Once it's dry, it takes several days to wear off and lots of picking. It's a pain in the neck. So we're putting gloves on. base, some glue on the bracket, and a little piece of sprout. Nice, complete coverage on here. Couple wood chips, get them out of there. Check that on the other side. I am 
making sure this is glued really well. We're also going to screw it down. But this is a fairly important piece in here. We do not want this to be able to move afterwards. part you didn't see is once I had the outline on there, I drove a couple screws down through the top inside the outline and then pulled them back out so I knew where to drive my screws from the bottom. Okay, so we've got the completed mass box in place. We won't put our sleeve in there until after we can get in there and scrape out some of that glue. I do not want that to get glued in yet. Eventually we'll put a wear plate in the bottom of the hole inside the sleeve, either a, a piece of wood or a small piece of metal, just something so that the mast, when it sits on there, if it wiggles and chafes, it's not wearing a hole in the bottom of the boat, it's just wearing on the sacrificial plate.